Other times, my wife will say something in bed that is just downright unrealistic. Case in point. <laughs> the other day, the wife and I were engaged in a vigorous session of lovemaking. I believe it was a Tuesday. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I felt that undeniable tingle that we're all aware of that alerts us to the fact that our orgasms will soon be approaching. <laughs> so, without a second to lose, I exclaimed, oh my God, I am going to come which is what I announce when I am about to ejaculate so that she can make the proper preparations. Because yeah. in the old days, I used to just yell out, semen, and she said that was creepy, so. Because I think she's got some unresolved stuff anyway. But anyway, so. I came up with my own saying. Feel free to use it as well. I don't mind paying it forward. You just say, oh my God, I am going to come. It's clear, it's concise, and most times I find it adequately conveys the gravity of the situation. <laughs> However, um, this one time in this story I'm recounting to you right at the moment of truth, I exclaimed, oh my God, I am going to come. And Jessica replies, don't. <laughs> I want to F you all night long. I was like, no, I think now is the perfect time. <laughs> I, I do uh, appreciate your kind offer. Um, but I do have a lot of yard work I need to get to, and a mountain of Downton Abbey episodes I have to catch up on. So if it's all the same to you, now would work out perfectly for me, thank you. I honestly believe that women in the back of their sweet little heads think that if we just try harder, <laughs> we can magically last longer. And I am so sad to be the one who has to relay this horrible news to you. But what you've been getting now is us trying our absolute hardest. <laughs> you, you are by far getting the diamond package of what we have to offer. If we were not trying, uh, let me paint a picture for you. Uh, this is what, would, what sex would be like if we did not try. Uh, we would get in maybe an inch and be like, that was delightful. <laughs> Bravo, I'm gonna go sleep in the den for three days. Uh, help yourself to the laughing cow cheese wedges in the refrigerator. <laughs> that would be sex if we did not try. Now, don't get me wrong, an experienced sailor, such as myself, <laughs> can definitely keep the ship floating in calm water, maybe a tad bit longer, but no matter what your skill set, once that tingle we've spoken of rolls in, we are not captain of the ship anymore. <laughs> well, we've been boarded by pirates. And, and a hell of a lot of good men have to walk the plank. <laughs> Sometimes it's just a sailor or two. Other times it is the entire fleet. But regardless, afterwards, the vessel will not be seaworthy for a few hours. <laughs> and I know why women get confused. It's totally understandable, ladies. It's because girls have their own tingle as well. However, ladies, your tingle is so opposite from our tingle. <laughs> you, can't, you can't compare tingles. Because when a girl has her tingle, that means she's about 
10 minutes away. <laughs> and she now needs absolute silence. Whatever you happen to be doing at that precise moment must not vary in intensity or speed. <laughs> it's, it's like piloting the Mars rover. If you move, if you move anything, a fraction of an inch in the wrong direction, she's like, mission aborted, you ruined it. Why did, why did you move? I, I, I have to know what was so goddamn important that you had to move. I'm like, I needed to breathe. And, and my therapist says, you're a bully. And, and if I have to breathe, honey, I, I have to put myself first because without oxygen, I will surely perish. <laughs> and 